My name is Maisie, I'm a rehoming and welfare assistant here at London. Hey Benji! Merry Christmas! I am in direct contact with the dogs, I walk them, I clean them, I make sure that they're all happy. Thank you for the Christmas kitty. Everyone is here on Christmas Day for the dogs. We're not at home, we're not with our families, it's actually really enjoyable to spend Christmas Day with the dogs. Dogs always need looking after, same at home, you can never stop. They're living beings, they have needs, especially here when they're maybe a little bit shut down, they haven't got someone to cuddle them in front of the fireplace on Christmas, they don't get to sneak things from the table. Someone needs to give them that love and care that they need, and that's us. Happy Christmas! Hello, look what you've got. You've got presents, you've all got presents. We're open 365 days a year, but Christmas Day is a very special one. You can have this. Look what you've got. It's about making sure that all of our dogs and cats are very happy, so they get lots of presents that have been donated by the general public. It's a little toy, here go. You want to open it yourself? My name's Ali Taylor and I'm Head of Canine Behaviour and Training at Battersea. Yes, he wants a Christmas present. What do you want? How about Charles. you have this? Happy and Christmas! Happy Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Christmas Day. We couldn't do it without you. I've been here at Battersea now for 27 years and I pretty much worked every Christmas. Why, you may ask yourself? because I enjoy it. I love it. <laughs> You've been a good girl? How about this? Hello. Happy Christmas, love. Thanks for coming in. It's a big, big part of Battersea. It's like being with your family on Christmas Day. Nothing like being around some four-legged friends and, of course, the staff and volunteers too. Just for you. Hopefully, hopefully you'll try, be nice, and you'll go home after Christmas. See you later! Happy Christmas! <laughs> it, it's nice to work over the Christmas period. We are a lot quieter, so it gives us a bit of downtime. We can spend more time with the dogs in the kennels, for instance. Maybe get them out of those kennels and have them behind reception with us. It's much nicer for them. My name is Veronica. I work as Lost and Found Assistant at Battersea. My name is Woody, and I work as the Dog Intake Coordinator here at Battersea London. Right, let's have a look if we have got any reports of a stolen doggies or lost doggies at the moment. To see. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hopefully. Good morning, Battersea Dogs and Cats Home. How can I help? As the dog intake coordinator here, we are dealing with around um, 22,000 calls a year. It's on average around about 2,000 calls a month. And we'll be speaking to people and discussing with them about their dogs. Oh, goodness me, and how did she escape? The fact that there is a festive period doesn't mean that we stop our work. I've had a few of these come in this morning. Um, yes, we had actually. We had a couple um, of dogs have been reported, as I already can see, as lost. That doesn't stop us from reunification of lost dogs and cats, as well as emergency appointments. So if the customers are in a very difficult situation, we are always here to speak to them and help them. We may still end up having people coming in because they may be going for a walk after the Christmas dinner and um, maybe they've found a stray dog or they've lost their own dog and need help with that as well. So that's, that's why it's important to be here over the Christmas period. <laughs> Uh, Angela. Uh, I'm a volunteer uh, here at Battersea. I work as a dog socialiser 
and I've been working here for the past six years now. Can you give me four? Can you give me four? Okay. Volunteering here is, is always uh, fun and enjoyable. It's particularly nice at Christmas because there's a, there's a really nice atmosphere. Uh, and of course, fr from the point of view of the animals, of the dogs, they don't distinguish and, and it's just another day for them and they still need all the attention and the walks and the interactions uh, that we're able to, to give them. Doing something uh, worthwhile to help uh, the dogs and spend time, they get they, their fix and I get mine you know, from spending time with them. I'm excited to be here today, it's Christmas Day, um, so it's all exciting here and everyone's in such a good mood. Oh, I'm Sophie and I'm a veterinary nurse at Battersea Dogs and Cats Home. I've been here two years now and I've been a qualified veterinary nurse for five years. So I'm just going to check um, her ears and her eyes. Even today we have animals coming in um, and we do need to treat them even if it is Christmas Day. We'll check their eyes, ears, um, everything like that, check their mouth, um, do a full body check over, head to tail, and then if we did feel that they needed treatment then we would speak to a vet and get them seen um, as soon as possible. Um, it doesn't stop just because it's Christmas Day, we still need to do these checks and make sure that they come in and that they're healthy. Not of anxiety in her stomach, worrying about whether she'd sent off for those invites. Hey, Jammy! So Christmas Day here is a little bit different from your average day at Battersea. Firstly, we are closed to the public, um, so we have a, a fewer staff on site, and those staff are here purely for the cats and the dogs. And we come in first thing in the morning, and we clean out all of the animals, and we make sure we spend our day tending to the animals' needs. My name's Kaz and I'm a Rehoming and Welfare Coordinator here in the Cattery. I've been here at Battersea for eight years and apart from one year, um, I always volunteer to work Christmas. It's probably my favourite day of the year. And there's nothing that I can think of that would be a better day than coming in and cleaning out and looking after those cats. So here at Battersea, it's not only a special day for the cats, it's also made sure that the staff feel that they've had a really great Christmas, a really inclusive Christmas. One of my favourite things to do on Christmas Day is we get a big Christmas lunch provided for us, which is amazing in the middle of the day, and we try and go in teams and have a big Christmas celebration all together, and it really does feel like you're at home with family. Kate, see you!